Hey, what is going on, guys? Crypto from Crypto Wars in here, and today I'm going to install and set up kits. This is going to be a tutorial. Also, I'll be setting up permissions with the kits, and let's get right into it. Now, I will be running this on a Windows VPS, so all ports will be port forwarded. Now, let's open up my remote desktop connection, and first of all, you're going to need Notepad. And you just want to install the 64 bit installer and also the kits itself. Now I have already done the kits and Notepad. As you can see on the desktop, first of all, we're going to install Notepad. The simple setup, just click next, agree, next, next. You can create a shortcut if you want, install, and you don't want to run it, finish. And you want to open up your Unten server, go into your Rocket plugins, and this is a new installation, so I'm just going to drag the kits plugin in. Once that's done, exit out of that, and go and start my server up. Now, as you can see, we have the kits successfully installed. Don't worry about light command kits. That's another plugin which I had installed in the server. If you want to check out the video on how to install light in the economy, I'll put that in the recommendations. Um, but also, you've got the optional dependency of economy. If you want, you can install economy for, so every time someone types in their kit they will receive money but I am not going to do that I'm just going to show you how to set up kits and the permissions needed for it now once that is loaded up just want to save and shut down the server go into your server files and you can see a kits folder has been generated I'll double click on that right click it and edit with notepad plus plus as you can see, it's much more simple and it's colored. So what we have here is a default layout of kits. Now, if you can see here, it says kits, and then we've got another row down below it, which says kit. Now, as you can see, there's an extra space between them. This one has less and this one has more. Now, this part from kits all the way down here, is basically all the kits combined together and the kit from the ending of the other kit with the slash is the kit itself so this is basically one whole kit by itself and the next one if I highlight over here to the end of this whole slash this is one whole kit and so on for this one now if we want to create more kits what we are going to do is from the bottom of the kits that you want to copy just want to highlight it all the way up to the top of the kits where you don't include any spaces with it now you just want to control c or copy it and then click back to the end of the kit hit enter as you can see it already has generated space for us what we're going to do is control V as you can see there is the same amount of spaces for each one and that means we have successfully entered a new kit in now some problems that you might occur with this let's say if I were to highlight the whole thing and include the extra space copy that press enter as you can see the kit and this one is not aligned at all you can obviously delete the spaces if you want but what I normally do is simple just highlight all the way up to the top where you don't include any spaces just copy that enter and then paste now the kit name is obviously the name of the kit so let's put this as heavy 
Now, the amount of XP when they receive the kit or type it in, that's how much XP they'll get. If you don't want them to get any XP, what you can do is you can actually take one of the perks that has a X SI nil set to true. You can just copy that path, one of the highlights up to here, press backspace and then space and enter or paste and that means you successfully made them not have any XP when they receive the kit same goes for money if you want you can also do a negative if you want to take away the money obviously you must have your economy installed for this now the items itself it's basically your ID you can go to let's close out one of these tabs unturnitems.com let's get a let's say a police vest so the id is 10 click and put 10 here and the amount they will receive say 2 now if you want them to have more items you just select one row make sure there's no spaces behind it copy it go back to the very end of it enter as you can see there is new a new line which space is already added and paste once you've done that that means you have added a new item into the kit and you can edit that just put a random id of 16 then we'll have them have five of those now the cooldown of the kit which means that once they do the kit they'll have a cooldown on it and let's say once set to 300 seconds which is five minutes they have a cooldown of five minutes before they can do the kit again now the global cooldown is the actual slash kit command itself so if i were to say set this to one second and one second if i were to do slash kit watcher and obviously try to do it again within the 10 second time frame i cannot do slash kit nor can i do any other kits until that global cooldown is obviously gone now that should be pretty simple how to set up kits it's frankly not that hard you just gotta look out on the copy and paste and how many spaces are behind and make sure you follow the order now once you've done that you just want to click save close out that now the permissions go edit the rocket permissions config as you can see I have a default permissions layer now what you're going to need is the actual kit permissions itself so the command slash kit and that will obviously allow them to do slash kit now if you want to add a specific kit to let's say default i have here all you have to do is type in kick dot the name of the kit let's i've created a new one called heavy that means i have access to the kit heavy if i were just to add this permission itself without having the kit permission that means i cannot type in the slash kit heavy at all and if you want them to view the list of kits you just have them have the permission kits now that is pretty simple and easy so let's go test that right now i'm going to save it close out that and start up my unturned server while that's running i'm going to start up my unturned on my computer Right, once you are in and join the server, I'm obviously added to the group default because I have my default group as default. So, if I do slash kit, as you can see, I can now do slash kit. If I do slash kit, I have access to the following kit head. And as you can see, I have equipped kit heli and also my two police vests which I've typed in 
Now if you can't use the command kit and you successfully verified that you have put the correct permission into your group, what you're going to do is go into your rocket folder and right click commands.config with notepad plus plus and then you can scroll down to find it or control F kit enter close it and this might be set to false so you can change that to true that means the command will successfully be enabled and you can just restart your server and the command should be working and that is all for this tutorial hope it helps if you need any questions or help please leave them in the comment below or add me on steam i have a separate video on how to install economy and lpx but you can also just skip to the part where you can install economy and have kids set up with it and that is all for today i hope you guys enjoy if it does help please leave a like and see you next time